It was a parade of some of the president's staunchest supporters, deliberately designed Projected to show diversity. Do you care about black lives? Republican candidate for Congress, Kimberly Klasick, who recently went viral for highlighting urban decay in the city of Baltimore, accused Democrats of taking black voters for granted. The same cycle of decay exists in many of America's Democrat-run cities. And yet the Democrats still assume that black people will vote for them, no matter how much they let us down. This Democratic state lawmaker told the convention he's crossing the aisle to vote for Trump because... The Democratic Party does not want black people to leave their mental plantation. President Trump has scored low marks for his handling of race relations throughout his presidency, while not defending the president specifically, a former member of Trump's cabinet, Nikki Haley, a daughter of Indian immigrants, defended America's reputation. In much of the Democratic Party, it's now fashionable to say that America is racist. That is a lie. America is not a racist country. Speaker after speaker cautioned against the alternative to Trump, his Democratic rival, Joe Biden. They say a Biden presidency would destroy schools and suburbs and crush working people with socialist policies. Those warnings included one from the president's son. Joe Biden and the radical left are now coming for our freedom of speech. They want to bully us into submission. If they get their way, it will no longer be the silent majority. It will be the silenced majority. They want to enslave you to the weak, dependent, liberal, victim ideology to the point that you will not recognize this country or yourself. After appearing in person at the convention during the day on Monday, Trump made two appearances in pre-recorded sessions from the White House to honor frontline workers fighting COVID and with former American hostages who he helped bring back from other countries. Republicans are promising even more appearances from President Trump, including on the final night of the convention, when he'll accept his party's nomination from right here at the White House, once again breaking with political tradition. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, the White House.